Hello and welcome to our lesson on kinematics formulae. So we use kinematics formulae to model motion of particles travelling along a straight line. In this question, a particle is moving in a straight line with constant acceleration of 3 meters per second per second. At time equals zero, the speed of a particle is 2 meters per second. And we've been asked to find the speed of a particle after 8 seconds. So to begin, I'm going to take a note of the values which I have. We told that the particle moves with a constant acceleration of 3 meters per second per second. So in this case, A is equal to 3 meters per second squared. And at time zero, the speed of a particle is 2 meters per second. This is called the initial velocity, which we label as U. So U is equal to 2 meters per second. And we're told that eight seconds later, we are asked to find the final velocity. So t is equal to eight seconds, and we're trying to find the final velocity, which is v. So we have these three formulae, and you can see that these two involve s, which is the measure of displacement. And displacement is not included in this question, so we're going to use this formula where v is equal to the initial velocity added to the product of acceleration and time. So v is equal to u, which is 2 meters per second, plus the acceleration times time, where t is 8 and a is 3. We can put this in brackets. So our final velocity is 2 plus 24, which is 26 meters per second. So after 8 seconds, the particle is moving at 26 meters per second. Okay, let's try another question. In this question, we are told a runner traveling at 3 meters per second accelerates at 2.5 meters per second squared until her speed has increased to 7 meters per second. And we are asked to work out how far she travels while accelerating. So for 3 meters per second, we can take as the initial velocity, accelerates at 2.5 meters per second squared, is the acceleration, and her speed has reached to 7 meters per second, is the final velocity. And we have been asked to work out how far she has traveled, and this is a measure of displacement, which is s. And you can see in these two formulae, each formula involves a measure of time, which we don't have, so we're going to use this formula here, where the square of a final velocity is equal to the square of the initial velocity plus the product of two, the acceleration and the displacement. And because we asked to work out the displacement, we need to make S the subject of this formula. We can do this by subtracting u squared from both sides, and these will cancel. So v squared minus u squared is equal to the product of 2a and s. We can divide both sides by 2a. And these will cancel. So the displacement will be v squared minus u squared over 2a. And finally, I substitute in these values where v squared is 7 squared, u squared is 3 squared, divided by 2 multiplied by a, which is 2.5. So we have 40 divided by 5, which is equal to 8 meters. Okay, let's try one more question. So here's our final question on kinematics formulae. We're told a bicycle is traveling with constant acceleration of 0.8 meters per second squared. The bicycle is moving at 5 meters per second when it passes point x, and 16 seconds later it passes point y. Do you want to try and find the distance between the points x and y, and then find the speed at which a bicycle passes point y? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. Okay, so to begin with, we saw that the acceleration is equal to 0.8, and the bicycle is moving at 5 meters per second when it passes point x, so this would be the initial velocity, and 16 seconds later, it passes point y. So t 
is equal to 16 and we are asked to work out the displacement. And because these two formulae need the final velocity, we're going to use this formula here. We can substitute in the value of u and t, where u equals 5 meters per second, t is equal to 16 seconds, and we'll add one half of the acceleration, which is 0 0.8, multiplied by 16 squared. So s is equal to 5 times 16, which is 80, plus 1 half of 204.8. So s is equal to 182.4 meters. And finally, to calculate the speed at which a bicycle passes point y, this would be the final velocity. So we can use this formula where the final velocity is equal to u plus at. We know u is equal to 5, a is equal to 0 0.8, and t is equal to 16. So our final velocity is equal to 17.8 meters per second. Okay, thank you for watching, and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again, and take care.